Sometimes it seems that we're quite far behind other bee farms in mechanization. Most beekeepers have a forklift or a hummer bee out in the bee yards when they pull honey because it can move the stacks a little bit easier than the people can onto the truck. But in a bee yard, we don't have that kind of room. And since we have people around, can likely do the job faster then we could do it through mechanization, albeit a little bit harder. But you know, at the end of the day, most people that work at the farm don't have to worry about spending an hour in the gym to get in shape because it happens with what we do. And these people that work for us, they get really lots like family. And it's always nice to have a really good extended family. Automation doesn't necessarily accomplish more it makes things easier. And since we fight the time clock, the seasonal clock constantly, we always try to get more done in a given eight or 10 hours than we necessarily could with automation. So it's quite a balancing act. There seems to be in the business world, the philosophy, or at least, I don't know how recent it is, maybe it's always been there save money at any cost. There are those in our industry, in the agriculture industry, that have adopted that, save money at any cost. Well, generally, working with livestock, when you're saving money at any cost, it's probably the livestock that is going to suffer. We deal with livestock, and we need to ensure that our bees are looked after properly, that they're healthy, everything that can be done to keep them healthy is done. We need to build population rapidly in spring. Years ago, we bought package bees. Years ago, the farming practices had changed. There was not eight and 12 wheel tractors out there putting the crop in in two weeks or 10 days. Seeding took a lot longer. It was delayed because we, you know, the, the farmer had to get out on the land after it had dried and, and the seeding went later. So in the days of package bees, there was time to build up a two pound package in, in mid, late April, early May, so that you could have a population necessary to pull a big crop. Not these days, things have changed. The intensity has changed. We have to keep up with it. So we winter bees. To winter bees, you have to keep them healthy. To keep them healthy, you have to spend money. And you have to be in the bees, checking the bees, monitoring the bees, monitoring your disease, and keep on top of, of everything that's coming down the pipe.